Hello people, my name is Peter with GeekTrucking.com. How are y'all doing today? Yeah, well, I'm doing okay. At the end of my run, at least for today, um, I gotta drop off at 8 o'clock tomorrow morning. It's about 70 miles away, so it's about an hour. Sitting out here in Minnesota. It's cold as crap out here. Six degrees probably fails with the wind chill probably about negative three or negative four, so it's kind of cold. Um, yesterday I had a good run. I ran, I believe, 711 miles. The day before, I ran 644 miles. But the day before, I went from Nevada through Salt Lake City into Wyoming. So yeah, um, 644 miles with all the hills and everything is not, not bad at all in my opinion, especially since it was sleeting pretty much the whole time I was driving. My whole shelter was all sleep. So, yeah, so that's not too bad. Um, let's see. Um, I have a big announcement at the end of this, towards the end of this month. Uh, I'm not going to say anything, but it's going to be a big announcement. I'm not going to say anything right now. Um, but I also let my work know that I want to try an oversize. Not a very big oversize. Maybe a half a foot to a foot oversize. Um, permit run. So I can get used to the permits and doing things oversize. Um, but after I drop tomorrow, I'm heading off to Ohio to drop this tanker off and then I don't know what, I'll, what will happen next. So, I don't know where I'm going from there. I know they're going to try to get me down to Texas. Now, um, I'm going to call someone out. Um, I'm going to call RVT out on this one. He did a video today with an IT manager. I didn't watch the whole thing. Uh, the guy's been in the field for six months. I personally never talked to him. I don't doubt he says who he says he is or anything like that. Um, but for months I've been waiting to do an interview with RVT. Um, he sent me an email asking me all sorts of questions, which is fine. Um, one of the questions was he wanted to see a copy of all my settlements. Every single settlement I've done. And one, I signed a non-disclosure. Uh, with my company saying that I would not disclose in writing anything that uh, any of my income. Two, I was brought up, you, you don't show people that information anyways. That's private information. He either believes me or don't believe me. But I sent him an email, sent him uh, pictures of everything I've hauled in the six, well, at that time, four months that I've been driving and told him I couldn't release the financial documents and not that I wanted to talk about money anyways. I wanted to more focus on uh, new drivers and things like that. But it's been at least two months since I sent him that email, replied to his email, and I haven't heard anything. So I'm pretty sure I'm never going to get an interview because the only reason why I can think is, is because I won't release my financial documents to him. And that's the reason, sorry. It is what it is. Um, but outside of that, um, that was my little rant about, about that being promised something and um, not having someone not follow through. It's unprofessional. I'm sorry. That's my opinion. But anyways, um, outside of that, I still watch some of his videos. Um, I watch a whole bunch of other people's videos still too. Um, I want to give out a shout uh, to Trucking Answers, Mark, uh, his winter driving tips, uh, saved me more than once, um, I was, it was the day after, uh, Nevada, no, no, I'm sorry, I was driving through Nevada during, in the sleet, and my truck was running hot, and not overly hot, but it was getting there, so what ended up happening was I remember a video that he showed, um, uh, and winter driving, your truck can get overheated, 
because ice builds up in the grill. So I pulled over, well actually when I got fuel, I went in front of the truck and sure enough, it was completely covered with ice. So I broke the ice, got all the ice out of it, and um, my overheating problem went away. I would never have thought about that, would never have done that if it wasn't for Trucking Answers. So for that, thank you, didn't even think about it. Um, I'm learning a lot about uh, securing things with chains. I prefer chains over straps. Um, I feel safer with chains versus straps, um, especially since I've had straps rip and cut and break on me. Um, but that's okay. Um, I know how to strap correctly now, so that hopefully won't happen in the future. Uh, Jack here, he won't give up his rope. He's being a pain in the butt, um, as always, demanding my attention as soon as I start making a video like he always does, but he's doing good. Uh, hyper as always, so yeah, um, let's see. Uh, so back to trucking answers, um, I suggest you all go over there and watch the winter tips forum. Um, today, driving through Iowa into Minnesota, um, lots of wind, lots and lots of wind, had a hard time keeping the truck straight, um, I don't like driving in wind, I prefer driving snow and sleet and everything else other than wind, uh, wind's probably the thing I hate the most, um, it was pretty nifty though, um, it was so windy that at one point, uh, my driving, the whole road pretty much disappeared from uh, the snow just blowing over the road. It was kind of nifty to see. Um, I've seen him once or twice before, I believe, driving through Wyoming or Nebraska. Uh, but it's pretty nifty. Um, my suggestion for driving through wind, slow down, uh, turn on your uh, interaxle differentials, that way you have more traction. Uh, if you're driving in the winter and it's windy and snow blowing across the road, watch out for ice because ice will build up in the little nicks and crannies of the road. Um, that also brings me to another point that I've never, never heard a YouTube video person talk about before. Now, it's not that major of a big deal for probably 99% of everybody out there, 99.9%. Uh, but it is something that you should be aware of when driving in winter conditions. Um, snow, sleet, ice, all add weight. And if you're driving or everything, it's probably not going to add a whole lot of weight, but it still adds weight. So if you're at 79,800 pounds, um, a day in the snow and sleet and everything else technically could throw you overweight. It's possible. It's feasible. Now, if you're at 7, uh, 79,500, 800 pounds in a flatbed, and you're hauling, like I am right now, a, a tanker truck that has a lot of uh, nooks and crannies that snow or water can collect into, um, you're more apt to weigh more uh, than a dry van. So just keep in mind that if you're pushing the limits on your weight, if you're one of these drivers, and I've done it myself, where I can only fuel up maybe to three-fourths of a tank because if I filled up full, I may have been worried that I may have gone overweight. Um, just remember, snow, sleet, ice, they all add weight to your truck. So it could, in theory, throw you overweight. So it's just something to keep in mind. Uh, and I've never heard of anybody uh, talk about that before, so I thought I'd throw that out there. Uh, what else? Uh, uh, here in Minnesota, the truck stop I'm at loves the whole parking lot sh sheet ice, so be extremely careful when getting out or backing into a space. I saw a couple trucks slide already and it came close to uh, whacking another truck. And you don't want to be the person whacking the truck. You're much better off getting whacked than whacking someone else. So uh, um, just keep that also in mind. Um, just be careful. 
And if you're uncomfortable, just get off the road. If you can't find a parking space in a truck stop, find an on-ramp like I do, or a rest stop like I do. Uh, just be safe. Don't push, don't push yourself in winter conditions. Actually, don't push yourself at all. So, anyways, it's been a couple days since I uh, did a video. And yes, I did call out RVT on his promise that he never kept. Um, hope he does. If not, it is what it is. I'm not, nothing against him. No ill feelings or anything else. Just disappointed. I was looking forward to doing it. Um, but, anyways, people, uh, please subscribe if you haven't subscribed. And share my videos on social media sites. Instagram, Facebook, other YouTube, Twitter, it don't matter. Um, go find some trucking schools, websites, post my video if you're in one. Tell your other uh, students that you're going to school with. Or if you're a teacher, let them know. Um, to uh, drop and watch the video and see, see, see this life from a rookie's uh, point of view. Um, but again, I have a big announcement coming up, so st stay tuned for that. And y'all have a wonderful night. Please give me a thumbs up, thumbs down. Leave me a comment, and please ring that bell. Y'all, talk to y'all later. Bye.